Oscar House, African Marketplace Heaven, or Elephant Graveyard Hell? Hey, welcome to Planet Mark, and today in our restaurant review series we'll be going around all of the restaurants in Walt Disney World and giving you our personal rating, it's Tusker House, which is in the firing line. So again, climb aboard your elephants, grab your sunglasses and safari gear, and let's go! go! This was a viewer request by Damien and India. That's right, Damien and India. Two for the price of one. If you want to shout out for our next video, then wait to the end and we'll tell you exactly how you could be featured. But if you're going on an Orlando vacation, then click on our links below for a list of essential Orlando items that you can get super cheap. But back to today. We're going to be looking at the atmosphere, the cost, the food quality, character dining experience to give you our overall rating. But before we do all of that, let's take a quick look back at the history of Tusker House. Tusker House opened in April 22nd, 1998 in the African part of Animal Kingdom, specifically near Harambe Village. However, when it first opened, it was in fact a quick service dining location with lots of outside tables. It closed in 2007 for a major refurbishment. When Tusker House opened in November of 2007, it had become an open air buffet diner. And furthermore to this new refurbishment, they started Donald's Safari Breakfast. This was a character dining experience just for breakfast. However, over the years and to current day, you can find all of the Fab Five at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Fun fact, Tusker House was actually designed as like an African marketplace where you can find actual stores on the second floor of the house. Breakfast opens from 8am to 10.55am. Lunch is from 11 to 3.30pm. And dinner is 4pm to 8.30pm. So it actually closes quite a lot earlier than most of the other restaurants. That's mostly because of Animal Kingdom being the earliest one to finish. So let's look at the cost. During breakfast, Disney classes this as a $2 sign restaurant, meaning guests are expected to pay anywhere between $15 and $35 per person per meal. And during lunch and dinner, it changes to a $3 restaurant, meaning guests are expected to pay between $35 and $60 per person per meal. Next, let's take a look at the atmosphere. Whether you like it or not, Animal Kingdom has one of the best themings in the whole of the Disney parks, any of them. This is by far the best theming. I mean, you've got the rope bridges, you've got the whole kind of intuitiveness like, to nature and greenery. You've got the whole aesthetic of like trying to be green and everything. It just makes you feel really, it's just something completely out there. And that's what I'm saying. In terms of actual theming, Animal Kingdom has the best. And basically Tusker House just takes this whoosh, and blows it up by 10 really going out and doing up the theming, making you feel like you're in some kind of weird and wonderful and beautiful African marketplace. So at first, when you're waiting for your reservation, you're just gonna sit outside on one of the tables there. It's not really a lot to look at, and it's compared to a lot of the other restaurants we've been looking at in our series, not overly great theming at this point. I mean, there's a bar there, so you can still grab a drink, which is always a must for us, but you can just take in the atmosphere of all the hustle and bustle of the marketplace. But you're not here to stare at the outside, you're here to go indoors. So as soon as you enter, you're going to firstly notice that it's an open air market buffet. With all of the tables which you're going to sit at are themed to like a safari office area, like a waiting room, which sounds a bit weird, but at the same time, it is a bit odd. It's a quirky and really brings to the uniqueness of this restaurant. The chairs are all wooden and look like they've been hand carved, but don't worry, they're all nice and padded. And they're big as well for the ample gentleman. But it's the tiny little pieces of detail which really bring out the charm, from the carvings in the windows to the safari signs. I mean, there's a sign that depicts a Serengeti hot air balloon ride. I know we'd all like to go on that hot air balloon ride. But it's, the, again, the tiny little things that you could just see in the corner of your eye and read that whilst you're eating, which really gives it its charm. As well as a sign depicting all the Swahili names of the animals that you can see in the Kilimanjaro Safari. So you can learn whilst you eat. And who doesn't love to learn? 
Again on the walls you're going to see African masks, you're going to see really weird fabrics, beads, you're going to see a balcony. But you're probably thinking at this point, but Planet Mark, how can it be an open air buffet and indoors at the same time? Well for that answer my friend, we're going to have to look up. So basically what Disney has done is like a really good solution to this. They've got some kind of clear fabric which will let in light but not the rain so you can stay dry even during the rain. And it's going to let in light, it's going to make you feel like you're outside whilst indoors, mm, kind of. So the actual buffet isn't in those big hot metal school tray things. It's in fact served from carts made of little bits and bobs that the marketplace villagers have actually found and made themselves. Now let's take a look at food quality. This is an African American fusion style all you can stuff in your mouth buffet until you explode with all these really good foods which I'm about to read out. That's probably what you're going to do. First off, this is one of the only places where you can find a devilishly good concoction called jungle juice. <laughs> It's a mixture of passion fruit, guava and orange juices. It's a bit sweet with a kick. And I'm not going to say it's free because it's not free, it's included in your meal. But you can have as much as you want. It's got everything from soups to salads to an 18 foot row of rotisserie meat named the Wall, the Wall of, of Flame. Flame. So those of you which are big fans of our restaurant review series, you'll know that a lot of these buffets, we've been saying that the menu is fairly generic, you can probably guess what's going to be on there. This one is where they really crank it up a notch. They put an African twist on most of the foods here, which really adds to its uniqueness. It's an African-American fusion, which makes it not just another buffet. So I've talked about the menu a lot, let's take a look at what's on that menu. Breakfast is pastries, bacon and sausage, scrambled eggs, Mickey waffles, breakfast potatoes, cereal, brick bubble tea, which is kind of like a casserole thing, morning fajitas, fruit chutney and banana bread pudding. So lunch consists of hummus dips, spit roasted meats from the wall of flame, ham and turkey, Kenyan coffee, barbecue pork, Curry roasted pork and peri peri salmon. Black eyed pea salad, that's not the band guys. Fruit and vegetable salads, banana bread pudding, strawberry cake and chocolate volcano cake, carrot cake, chocolate chunk cookies, deli meats and cheeses. And for the kids menu there's still those corn dog nuggets, ham and mac and cheese. And dinner is pretty much the same as lunch. Okay, so now let's look at the character dining experience. It's just the Fab Five, but in their safari gear, which I suppose isn't too much of a hook because you can get it anywhere in the animal kingdom, them in their safari gear. But maybe if you don't have that much time, then this is one to do it all in one go because you don't have to wait half an hour or use up one of your fast passes because you want to go into the special rooms that they have. And now our verdict, our rating, using our own rating system, which you're all familiar with by now. We take the atmosphere, the cost, the food quality, and the character dining experience to give you our rating using our system. And we're going to put this, because of it's so unique and it's a twist, and it's just a different buffet, we're going to in fact put this on do multiple times. And again, that is because it's a character dining experience. It's not too expensive, especially if you go on breakfast. And that wall of flame. Okay, I'm going to stop that now. So the wall of flame, yeah, that as well is just such a big selling point for me as well. Because I love meat and African as well. African have such really good food as well. Different as well. It's not just another buffet. It's one of those things that it's one of those quirky things that you're only really going to get at Disney. The atmosphere is really cool. As soon as you get inside, it's just a really cool, unique idea. And the characters as well. Still going around, like, still those interactions. And it means it saves you a lot of time because Animal Kingdom does close early, so there's not as much time. There's no, it's never going to be one of those parts which has like a special event on. It's going to be hard to get all of the characters in the Safari Gear. You may get one or two characters in the Safari Gear, but here you're guaranteed to get all five of them in their Safari clothes, pictures, and everything, interactions, and it's just good food as well. I can't stress to you 
how good the food is and like how awesome it just looks. But you tell me in the comment section below, would you do this? But remember this was a viewer submission by Damien and India. But if you want to be featured in our next restaurant review, then just tell us below which restaurant should we review. It's that easy and you'll be featured. But if you're planning a trip to Orlando or any kind of trip abroad, then make sure that you check out our list of super cheap items in the description below. Remember to subscribe to Planet Mark and hit that bell notification to be told of the next great upload. Like and share this video. Follow us on Twitter at Planet Mark Vlog or Facebook.com forward slash Planet Mark Vlog. See you in the next one, guys. Bye, 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 bye.